Welcome! Today we're going to answer the most important question you have this registration season. Why take Psych 225? First of all, let me introduce myself. I am Tom Flesher. I'm an assistant professor of economics on the Ammerman campus. You can email me fleshet at sunysuffolk.edu, last name Flesher, email fleshet. You can make an appointment to meet with me at calend.ly slash flesher dash eco. That's right, I'm an economist. Uh, and I'm teaching Psych 225, Quantitative Methods in the Behavioral Sciences. Wait, I'm an economist. Why am I teaching? It? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. But why should you take this course? Well, first of all, you probably need it. So do you want to major in a social science at your four-year institution? Maybe you're going to be a psychologist. If you want to major in psychology, you definitely need this class. But other social sciences, economics, political science, sociology, history, all of these are Majors that often will require a 200 level social science stats class. Math 103 isn't going to do it because that's not a class about research methods in social sciences. The math class probably not going to fulfill your requirement. And this is true even if you don't want to do quantitative work, even if you don't want to do stats. This is going to be a course that you need to take just to check off that box on your degree report. The school doesn't care which department stat class you get. So the fact that it's a psych class isn't going to be a problem for you, even if you're a history major or uh, an economist, hi, or a sociologist or a political scientist. Right? So we only offer this as a psych class, but I get to teach it anyway, and I've been looking forward to this for a while. Okay, the time slot, fantastic. It's that right after lunch time slot, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11.30 a.m. Normally, you're right in there at 11 a.m. This gives you a little half an hour to get a, a little lunch break in. Gives you a little bit of time before that 2 p.m. class. Frankly, I think this is a very sweet spot. It's only offered in the spring, so if you don't take it now, you'll have to wait a whole year to take it again. So folks, jump on this. You might be graduated by the time we offer it again. Okay, But you're already here. You like Suffolk. I know, I know, I thought of that. I thought of that too. But I know you like Suffolk. Take this class with 30 classmates. When I took this class at the University at Buffalo, I was in a lecture hall with 300 students. You'll get the attention you need in order to really understand this material if you take it in a small classroom like we have at Suffolk. You know who else will give you attention here at Suffolk? That's right. Now, let's keep things moving here. You'll learn how to do research. You'll work with real data. You'll do real research. And you're going to learn how to do real data analysis. Even if you don't want to go on to grad school, if you want to have a job where you do anything quantitative, mm -hmm. You're going to need to have some data analysis skills. This is a chance for you to put those skills to work and maybe even generate a writing sample to show people what you can do. Now, one thing that's very important, you always worry about the professor. And the professor here, probably not a total dipstick. I hear that he usually wears Argyle sweaters when it's cool out, but he switches to Hawaiian shirts in the spring. So keep that in mind. He also been stealing his spare time. I will show you how if you'd like, but I'll definitely bend something for you guys. Uh, I like to do wrenches. I like to do horseshoes. Lots of fun stuff. Right. Now, also, if there were ever a website where students rated their professors, you might find reviews that look a little like this. Always willing to help my students. Lots of work, but nothing crazy. Just use your time wisely. Economics, tough subject, like statistics. Fair amount of graphs, fair amount of vocabulary. You're going to be doing some data visualization, but I make it understandable. People say I'm great in a lecture. I did not write these myself, neither did my mother. So, folks, just register for it already. The CRN is 36688. It's in that great Tuesday, Thursday, 11.30 a.m. time slot. You need to have Math 103, but... Even though Psych 101 is listed as a requirement, 
No problem as long as you've taken another social science class. I will absolutely waive that requirement as long as you've got some experience in another social science. So folks, please feel free to contact me, Tom Flesher, flesh at, at sunysuffolk.edu. If you want to make an appointment to meet with me, calend.ly slash flesher dash eco.